all right, no fancy open or anything and nothing after this or... Hey everyone, this is Steven Richards, and today I need your help. I need you to comment below because I'm going insane trying to figure out what the right microphone for me is. Uh, here we have it. Finally, after all these years of staring at it on Amazon.com, we have the Electro Voice RE20. Now, recently I had also the Shure SM7B, and then a while ago I had the Electro Voice RE320. So that one I liked a lot. But it started to have sound issues, and I, and I heard that the 320s, because they're made in China, as opposed to the RE20 and the RE27, these two, the 20 and the 27, are made in the U.S. 320 is manufactured in China, so I decided to go up and try the RE20. But in between was the Shure FM7B, which I really liked, uh, but it sounds a little muddy. wasn't quite sure, quite sure that it was the um, microphone for me. My fault, full disclosure, I did not uh, engage the presence booster. I did not engage the bass roll off and I didn't engage both at the same time. So I really truly didn't fully test the SM7B. So a few things I'm thinking about, and obviously audio quality and the way my voice comes across on these microphones is paramount. That's the number one thing. But also I'm thinking about cost. This is $450. And I'm still probably going to have to buy some kind of shock mount, some kind of thing to hold this mic or maybe even a new scissor arm because this microphone here is is a lot heavier than 320. I have to always turn this little screw right here on the uh, mounting thing. And, and it still falls. You, you saw it in the opening of the video. I had just tightened it and the RE20 still fell. So it's just... Uh, Oh my God, I don't know if it's a Monday or if it's just the way it's going with these microphones uh, over the years. But that was what was making me to consider the uh, Shure SM7B is because the mounting's all right there. It's uh, it's pretty much built in. Also, uh, it has some shock absorption built into the SM7B. Uh, the RE20 here that I'm talking on also has an internal pop filter, kind of like the SM7B, but it's foam and it degrades over time, which means I would have to pay at least a flat fee of $200 every five years, maybe more often than that if I live in a very humid area. And guess what? I live in Atlanta, so it's very humid. So five years is all I can hope for. I might have to replace it, uh, talking about the phone and getting it serviced or restored uh, more often than every five years. The SM7B, I'm not quite sure of. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to give you all that background. <laughs> uh, I, I'm playing, obviously, the RE20 audio right now for you. Now, I don't have the SM7B and I do not have the RE320, but I have them up on YouTube. I'm going to take those videos, play those clips for you so you can hear them. They all are probably compressed about the same way for YouTube. Uh, for the audio chain, for all three of them, I'm using, I believe all three, I'm, for the 320, I might be using a Zoom H6, but for the RE20 here and the short SM7B, the gain is boosted up 6 dB on both of them, and also I'm using right here, which you saw in the SM7B review, I'm using a Cloudlifter CL1, so I'm getting pretty clean audio from here, and once again, I, I know this has variable D technology, which the Shure SM7B does not. So the proximity effect is not going to be as pronounced as the SM7B. Don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, the, the even tonal response around this microphone might be better than the SM7B. That's what I'm leaving up to you. So this is a sound test of the RE, RE320. Oh, my goodness. Uh, for that price, I would have kept the RE20. This is an audio test, a sound test, a vocal test of the RE20. Now we're gonna to go to the Shure SM7B. Then we're gonna play the one from the RE320 from a while ago when I did the review on that. And then we're gonna come back for the final closing on the RE20. Once again, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. When I say it's a quiet microphone, well, you need to drive the gain. So I'm not turning the preamp up to almost 100%, which in this case, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 second gen, but, 
in order to get the clean gain i need to use a cloud lifter so i'm using the cl1 right here and um i may go through the chain because if there is still some noise that i'm not liking because right now i'm about maybe 50 55 percent on the gain uh so like 12 what between 12 and one o'clock as the experts would say with the gain on the uh, sm7b through the cloud lifter uh so it might be one of my xlr cables I'm not quite sure uh this one here is not a new one it's kind of newish to oldish this is the new one that's going through the mic scissor arm so if that's defective then i just have to use a whole another one so i'll go through the chain and see but this is uh basically a test of this microphone for the first time uh what i'm going to use it for and in this video i'm going to demonstrate it right now since this is kind of the vocal application talking about the microphone and the difference between this and the re320 and maybe the next one i test out might actually be the re20 or the re27 is this microphone does not have the variable d technology of the re320 re20 or re27 meaning that when i move around it or i, I move close to it like right now i'm going to get some proximity effect whether that's a good thing or a bad thing uh one thing i really liked about the re320 was the fact that it was kind of even and more forgiving uh wherever i was so yeah, that's something that maybe it maybe it sounds much nicer when i'm closer to it and i can just kind of eat the mic like i'm doing now or it won't make much of a difference no matter what just a little background the reason why i started podcasting way back is because i have a vocal implant once again talking about these microphones and trying to find a microphone that fits my vocal characteristics i have an implant after i had neck surgery so my voice completely changed from what it was so if you look at videos of me wrestling way back in the day my voice is much higher it's much different and uh it's been kind of like an eternal search to try to find out what microphone really works for me so that's why this this channel even though i jinxed myself by saying uh this is not a micro microphone review channel it's <laughs> sure as hell seems like and i got another usb one coming uh from the same company that sent me the headphones so how about how about that <laughs> so so i got all these microphones and I mean, i've been giving some away so and giving them people who want a podcast so there's going to be more giveaways coming in the future so stay tuned for those and i really do appreciate you just uh coming along on the ride with my first impressions on the electro voice ra320 so that's about it hopefully that's about it or maybe that's about it for now let me know in the comments below if you can recommend a microphone that wasn't one of these three that you believe is even better than all three of them please let me know in the comments i haven't seen anything outside of the re20 or i should i say the electro voice line versus the shore line those two right there I'm not really willing to go the condenser route. I've tried the LCT 440 Flex, 441 Flex, I should say, and I currently have the 440 Pure. They sound great. They're very quiet microphones, but condensers have a tendency to, to really pick up a lot of noise. That's why I wanted this. I wanted really low self noise, but I wanted a quiet microphone with a tight cardioid, hypercardioid pattern, which the Shure, the Electro Voices, they all have those characteristics so uh please let me know below please uh if you get a chance go to stevie richards fitness.com check out the 12-week resistance band training program and also uh it might be up already or it's coming soon the ghost hunting investigation from the capitol theater in rome new york will be up here i'm mispronouncing everything is it the microphone <laughs> the ghost investigation i'll say it really slowly from the capitol theater in rome new york will be up here on the youtube channel please check it out really proud of that uh, and i voiced it all over with the re20 started with the 320 then the sm7b finally all the voiceovers in there are from the re20 so check them out that could sway your comment one way or the other so that's about it thank you very much and god bless you and have a good day